Hello everyone, welcome back to the Design Pantry channel. Today we are looking at the Coronado model by Classica Homes. And this model home is located in Fort Mill, South Carolina. It's a really beautiful home. Here we have a look at the kitchen. Here's the refrigerator, as well as the built-in microwave. We're entering the pantry decent size L-shaped pantry with a lot of separate compartments so you can divide all your goodies by categories or have your pantry organized however you like. Here is a still shot of the kitchen from a different angle. Nice open layout leads to the family area and outlooking the um backyard if you look there's a covered space in the backyard and there's also a fire pit there in this model home there's a fire pit in the backyard um here we'll have another look at the kitchen slash living room from a different angle nice open spacious layout and here we have the owner's suite bath the toilet is enclosed in the owner's suite. Separate lighting. Nice little section to do your thing privately. They chose farmhouse artwork on the walls. And here's another shot of the owner's suite bathroom. You can see the his and her vanity and there's a little makeup section in the middle now we are heading oh back into the owner suite so we can have a quick walk through from the entrance so you can see the entire bathroom from a different angle there's nice lighting in here you have two windows and quite a bit of light fixtures on the wall as you can see so great to apply makeup just do your self-care routines anything you like in the bathroom here's a look at the shower i think the tiles that they chose were stunning and now we're entering the walk-in closet of the owner's suite which has enough space for his and hers, his on the left, hers on the right, or however you like to do it. There's also a laundry room in this um, owner's suite with a folding table on top and nice lighting off there to the left. One more look at the owner's suite closet. Nice shelving space, additional storage up above. You can store shoes or pocketbooks or whatever you'd like. There's even storage right behind the entrance door that leads into the closet. You can store suitcases down below if you'd like. Here's another look at the shower, the walk-in shower with glass doors. Lovely, lovely tiles, lovely work. Here is a quick still shot of the owner's suite. They added panels on the accent wall. Lots and lots of windows, lots of natural lighting. There's a little seating area there. Now we are upstairs in the den or entertainment room. This can be a play area, a game section, whatever you'd like it to be. Um, now we're going downstairs so you can see some of the, what am I looking for? The, the railing, sorry, we passed that already. Now we're entering the 
dining room area. It's open layout down here. And we're leading to the owner's suite. Now we're gonna have a walkthrough of the actual suite. I did show you a still shot of the bed, but now here you have a walkthrough of the owner's suite, which is on the master level in this model. There's a bed and quite a few windows in this um, owner's suite. It's a nice little nook here for your dresser. You can place a desk there if you'd like, if you work from home and would like, put, prefer to have a desk in your room, but I love that dresser. We are looking at the den again, and here is a guest room on the second floor of the home, one of the additional bedrooms. It doesn't necessarily have to be a guest room. Here is another bedroom. This is the third bedroom that we're looking at. Natural lighting, nice windows. Here is a view of the walkway on the second floor. Here is the second laundry room for the rooms that are on the higher level. You can add double um, washer and dryers if you'd like to have more than just one washer and one dryer. Upstairs, so it's cool that the owner's suite can have their own laundry room downstairs and then the bedrooms upstairs can share the laundry room that's in the hallway on the second floor. Here we're walking into another bedroom. You did see a still shot of this bedroom earlier, but here's a quick walkthrough. We can see the lighting, see the windows, and the layout of the room. Here we're going to enter the closet for this room, an L-shaped walk-in closet. Cute little bench seating for if you get tired. There's the chosen furniture in this room and wall art, additional wall space in the room you can of course you can lay out the furniture however you'd like but I'm just giving you a view of the entire layout in the room so you can see how the room is configured here is the bathroom the light fixtures in the bathroom that's nice um, ceiling height, double sinks on the vanity, lots and lots of storage. As well as the tiles on the bathroom floor. Here we're going to have a look at the shower where there's a standing glass shower, a walk-in shower. I mean, you only shower standing up normally. Um, there's the chosen artwork on the wall and a toilet. I tell you all the time, if you see one, you've seen them all, except for if they're like a hat box toilet. Here is the layout of the subway tiles in the shower. And there are the floor tiles in the shower. Now we're going to have a look at the joining bedroom that was a Jack and Jill bathroom so those two bedrooms would share the same bathroom here's a look at the bedroom as well as all the lighting in this room I think they did very nice a very nice job with the furniture choices I love that mirror on the wall here is a look at the closet in this room another L-shaped walk-in closet Decent size for a child, um, student living at home. More than enough space for them to hang and display all their clothes and shoes. Walk-in closets are always good to help with storage issues. And now, we're going to look at one of the 
linen closets that are on this floor. I believe there are two linen closets on the upper level of this floor. This is one of them. Nice and spacious. You can add all your towels to the shelving. Right, here's another look down the hall as we enter a bedroom with a bunk bed and tons and tons of windows. I believe I counted five windows in this bedroom. So there's a lot of lighting, a lot of panels on the wall. I'm sure that's an upgrade. Here is another walk-in L-shaped closet. Nice height space. You can reconfigure that closet if you want. Here you can peep through the windows there. Now we're entering the bathroom for this bedroom. Nice lighting. Pretty decent height. Nice vanity choices. As well as the towel work on the floor. And this is the tub and shower combination there's a shower in the tub so you can have a bath or a shower and that's that's a, a built-in unit so it's not difficult to clean you can always replace it and add towels if you want here's another look at the vanity just one sink but pretty decent size room you don't have to share Oh, well, two children do not have to share if you don't want. But in this model, they're showing you the room set up with a bunk bed. And there's additional seating, nice little sofa. You can put a desk there if you want. Now we're going to head back down the hall. And we're looking at an interesting bookshelf. I think this is very unique. A lot of different storage spaces. Paneling on the wall as well as the lighting in the hallway. And here's a hallway bathroom. Very, very high ceilings. Love that very long mirror above the pedestal sink. It's a cute hallway bathroom for guests or the other rooms to share. Now here is another look at the kitchen space. It's a nice open layout. I love the blue cabinets, the navy blue cabinets in this model. And the stove and um, fridge were really nice too. Pretty decent size island and lots and lots of lots of countertop space. It's a closer look at the built in microwave oven and the cabinets and hardware. They had a six burner stove, gas stove, which was really, really nice. The front um, door of the oven was white. And a very nice deep farmhouse sink in the kitchen. Now we're going to have a look at the Eden area in the, um, right next to the island there in the kitchen, near the kitchen. There's a long buffet table set up to the far left. Lots and lots of natural lighting. You can also get additional lighting from the covered porch in the back of the house there. Where you can see they have tons of outdoor seating for eating and entertaining. You can just relax, have your morning coffee back there. And here's another look at the family room from a different angle there you can see the TV and the um, light fixture fireplace as well and here is the 
formal dining room, which is pretty much an open space. So you can have tons of people over. Here's an, a look at the walkway leading up to the foyer. That's the front entrance right there, a two-story foyer with a nice light fixture. And there is an office space to your right as soon as you enter the home, our left. Now here's a view of the entire home from the front door. This is what you would see as soon as you walk into the home. You'd see the staircase and the large light fixture. Off to your right, you have an office space. There are your options. You can turn it into a bed and breakfast if you'd like, but they have it staged here as an office space. So there is the wind there are the windows. You can get a view of the layout for the first room as soon as you enter the home. Pretty decent ceiling height. Again, you can have this stage as a bedroom if you'd like, as opposed to an office space, or this can be a playroom for your children, whatever you'd like it to be. As soon as you exit the office space, the next thing you will see is this mirror as well as a table right outside of that room, that office, I'm sorry. Now we are going to head upstairs. You can get a look at the banister and the furniture there in the little nook. You can add a table and chair or benches there. A bench there, I'm sorry. Now we're heading upstairs. You can see the woodwork along the stairs as well as the railings on the banister. And one thing I love with classical homes is they think about a lighting a lot. And the, the natural lighting is very important nowadays and this home has tons and tons of natural lighting. There's lots of windows and beautiful light fixtures. Here you have recessed lighting in this entertainment area, but now you have additional windows here by the office space again you of course you can set this up however you'd like but here's a view an overlooking view of what you would see if you look over the banister as soon as you arrive upstairs on the second floor here's another look at the office space and the natural lighting the windows here are your options for the private east wing. You can choose whatever layout you'd like if you're building this home from scratch, which when I visited this community, you were able to build a home from scratch. I'm not sure if that's the case right now, but it was when I was there. Here is a look at another linen closet that's on the second floor of this home. Spacious walk-in linen closet. You can add additional items on the floor if you'd like, a suitcase or two. Now we're going to enter a full bath. There is a look at the light fixture in the vanity, the mirror, and here is a shower and tub in one it's a built-in all one unit the tiles in the top is all one unit here's another look at the mirror and vanity in this bathroom which has a window more natural lighting with shutters wooden shutters so it adds a nice touch. It's just clean and modern. One more look at the light fixture in this bathroom. And now we're going to have a look at the bedroom that is 
right next to that bathroom there. It's a pretty decent size. Nice natural lighting. And here is the walk-in closet. Also L-shaped. Nice decent size. You can store a lot in this closet. And it's well lit. Now, we're looking at the panels on the wall in this bedroom and the furniture, of course. The layout of the room as well as the natural lighting. There you can have a peep at the homes in the community. Oh, there's another window over there. But yeah, here you can peep at the home so you can see what they look like, what the neighborhood sort of looks like. It's a really nice neighborhood. I like classic homes. And I don't know if I mentioned it. This is the Arden Mill subdivision in Fort, Fort Mill. Oh, I did say Fort Mill earlier. But this is um, Arden Mill. That's the name of the community. Here's another look at the entertainment room. And a still shot of the kitchen. That pretty much wraps up the tour of this home. I'd like to thank you so much for watching.